Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so let's watch work on Wednesday. So today I'm in the bedroom recording because June is asleep in the living room. <laughs> she fell asleep in there. I'm letting her nap. But anyways, I started a new amigurumi. I've actually made this one before, but it's been like three years. <laughs> and I wanted to make it in my pretty green color. This is Red Heart Glow Worm. It's discontinued, but I've had a couple people send me some. So now I've got a little stash of it. <laughs> And I was saving it for Halloween makes. So I pulled it down, one of the little cakes down, and um, I pulled out of my pattern binder. <laughs> That's where I print patterns that I think I'll make in the future again. Um, and this is the Happy Ghost pattern by Michelle Estrada, which is Pixie Mary Crates. And it is a pay-for pattern, but I'll link it down below on her Etsy shop. I think you can buy it individually, but you can also buy a bundle of her Halloween patterns that she put out that year. And get them all. <laughs> She actually gifted them to me right as right around the time she put the pattern out. Uh, and it's been, a, I think, two or three years. It doesn't say on here. Uh, but anyways, so it's just a cute little ghost pattern right there. I made him in white uh, the first time that I made him. But this time I'm making him in glow worm. And so far I've only got the top of his head. <laughs> and I got my little stitch marker. I got this in a Halloween swap, I think last year. Uh, or there for that. And I just got to the part where I'm going to be doing just a bunch of solid rounds to make, like, the the length, the, the height of his body. <laughs> and then I'll be making his little um, wavy parts at the bottom, you know, his ghost dressy tail part. <laughs> and then his little arms. And I think I'm going to use some of my sister's felt um, safety ass, <laughs> whatever called, felt ass on there. Because she, Michelle uses felt ass. I believe her sister makes them too. And sometimes a mouse. This is a stitched on mouth, but um, I'm going to do that with this one. I made it green because I, I like green for ghosts as well. Mostly probably because of Ghostbusters. <laughs> so it's going to be my, my own little slimer. And this one's going to be a little bit smaller because she makes all of her patterns mostly with an H hook, which is 5mm. But she must have a way loose tension, more loose tension than me. Because if I made this with a 5mm a hook and worst weight yarn, there'd be holes all in it. So I went down to a G hook. Which, this one is a 4 millimeters so a G6. There's also a G7, which is a 4.5, I think. Um, and it's still slightly on the holy side. you see that? So I have to be careful when I stuff it. And I'm trying purposely to be loose. <laughs> like, when I'm making my stitches, I'm trying to think, okay, don't pull too tight. I have a really bad habit of having really tight tension. Um, when I crochet, and it's gotten worse over the years. I used to, because I used to use the 5mm hook for all my amigurumis, and now I use the e-hook almost always. So I went way down. Um, and I want to have these big, cute, fluffy amigurumis like she makes. But every time I make her patterns, they come out real small because of my tension, and I have to use different hooks. But it's okay. So I'm working on that today. I might work on it here in a little bit while the baby's still napping. But let me know down below what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links and stuff because I love to check them out. Let me know if you work on Hall any Halloween things. If you are, you can head over to my Facebook group or through emo and enter my happy Halloween Halloween make-along. <laughs> so you can enter all your crochet or knit or any kind of craft Halloween items between yesterday <laughs> all the way through the end of September to be entered to first first of all to share by what you make which is fun and also i'm going to draw two random winners at the end of it to win a, a notion bag or possibly a project bag i haven't i haven't figured it out yet <laughs> with some stickers for my sister's shop and some stitch markers and maybe a couple other little things um that i want to try to get out to you as early in october as possible so you can use it during the spooky season but anyways that's just a little plug also want to do another plug my sister her etsy shop is always linked below she makes all kinds of cute stickers and cardi cows and felt eyes and mouths but she's put out yesterday she put out i think 16 new sticker designs so head over here and check them out i know there were some bible quotes some more crafty like yarny and sewing related ones i think just some like regular you know average you know what am i trying to say like ordinary themed things <laughs> um really cute stickers she designs them really well and they're really nice quality. I have a whole bunch of them on a binder. I keep meaning to show you guys, and I think I haven't done it yet. I need to do that. <laughs> I finally used my stickers. I was hoarding them up. But anyways, uh, check her shop out. And remember, any purchases you make from her shop between August the 1st through August the 7th, uh, I will randomly draw from the people who made the purchases. And for each purchase you make, like if you get a or one order with five stickers, you get five entries. Um, 
to win a custom ish bag, which is where you get to pick whether it's a drawstring or a tote bag. And then you can kind of pick the print. Like you could tell me colors you like, um, prints you like, or like a movie or cartoon or something that you like. And I will try to find something that fits that for you. Um, so go buy some stickers and get entered for a bag. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. And I'm about to record my Halloween video, so I'm going to be sitting here and look exactly the same. But that'll come out later today. But anyways, I'm going to hop off and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.